40 months. 40 months of relentless exploration and groundbreaking discoveries. That's how long our emissary Perseverance has roamed the red plains of Mars, tirelessly traversing the alien landscape, leaving its indelible tracks on the Martian soil. This rover, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, touched down in Jezero Crater, a place where a river once flowed billions of years ago, carving out a delta that now holds secrets of the planet's ancient past. Its mission? To unravel the mysteries of Mars's past and search for signs of ancient life. By drilling into the Martian surface and collecting soil samples, Perseverance aims to uncover clues that could tell us if life ever existed on this distant world. Perseverance is more than just a rover. It's a sophisticated laboratory on wheels, equipped with tools to drill, analyze, and even listen to the faint whispers of the Martian wind. Its suite of scientific instruments allows it to conduct experiments and gather data that would be impossible to obtain from Earth. It carries cameras that capture breathtaking images of a world vastly different from our own. These high-resolution images provide us with a window into the Martian environment, revealing its stark beauty and harsh conditions. A world of rusty red dust, towering mountains and canyons that dwarf our Grand Canyon. The Martian landscape is both awe-inspiring and intimidating, a testament to the planet's dynamic geological history. This isn't a joyride. It's a mission of discovery fraught with challenges. Perseverance must navigate treacherous terrain, climb steep slopes, and overcome obstacles that would halt lesser machines. Perseverance has to navigate treacherous terrain, endure the harsh Martian climate, and survive the constant bombardment of radiation from space. The Martian environment is unforgiving, with dust storms that can last for weeks and temperatures that plummet to extreme lows. But through it all, it persists, driven by the insatiable human desire to explore the unknown. Perseverance's journey is a testament to our quest for knowledge and our unyielding spirit of exploration. Each day it brings us closer to understanding Mars and perhaps our place in the universe. The sun, giver of life, can also be a harsh mistress. Its radiant energy sustains life on Earth, but it also has a darker side. This is especially true on Mars, a planet stripped of a protective magnetic field. Without this shield, Mars is vulnerable to the sun's wrath. When the sun flares, it unleashes a torrent of radiation, a danger to both robots and future human explorers. These solar storms can be unpredictable and intense. Perseverance, however, is prepared. It carries instruments that monitor these solar storms, giving us valuable data about the radiation environment on Mars. This data is crucial for understanding how to protect future missions. One such event saw a surge in energetic particles, the equivalent of 30 chest X-rays. These particles can damage electronics and pose serious health risks to astronauts. Thankfully, our rover is well shielded, designed to withstand these cosmic onslaughts. This information is crucial. It helps engineers design better protection for future missions. It tells us that while Mars is a challenging place, it's not insurmountable. With the right technology and preparation, we can overcome these challenges. Future missions, carrying human crews, will need to be designed with radiation protection in mind. This means developing advanced shielding and monitoring systems. Perseverance, in a way, is paving the way for our first steps on the Red Planet. Its mission is not just about exploration, but also about preparation for the future. Every piece of data it sends back brings us one step closer to making human exploration of Mars a reality. Jezero Crater Once, billions of years ago, it was a lake fed by rivers that flowed across the Martian landscape. Today it's a dry, desolate basin, but the scars of that watery past remain. Perseverance, in its explorations, has been navigating these ancient riverbeds, places like the intriguingly named Bright Angel. Imagine a river channel not carved from rock but from sand. Towering dunes, sculpted by the Martian wind, rise up like waves frozen in time. This is the challenge Perseverance faces. It has to carefully chart a path using its cameras and sensors to avoid getting bogged down in the soft, yielding sand. It's a slow, meticulous process, but with each successful maneuver, 
Perseverance takes us one step closer to understanding the history of water on Mars. And water, as we know, is the elixir of life. Imagine you're on a road trip and you pick up a hitchhiker. Not a human hitchhiker, but a rock. That's exactly what happened to Perseverance. During its travels, a small rock got lodged in one of its wheels. This little hitchhiker, affectionately nicknamed Dwayne, became a minor celebrity. Dwayne is more than just a funny anecdote. It's a reminder of the rugged, unforgiving nature of Mars. The rover, in its quest for knowledge, is constantly encountering obstacles. It has to navigate sharp rocks, climb steep slopes, and traverse loose gravel fields. But through it all, Perseverance, like a tenacious explorer, perseveres. Duane, in a way, became a symbol of the rover's resilience, a badge of honor earned on the dusty plains of Mars. Imagine driving through the desert, the vast expanse of sand stretching endlessly before you, the sun beating down relentlessly, and then, out of nowhere, you come across a towering spire of rock, reaching for the sky, defying the flatness of the landscape. That's what it must have been like for Perseverance when it encountered Toko Spire, a solitary sentinel standing tall on the Martian surface. This unusual rock formation, light in color and speckled with dark spots, stands out from its surroundings, almost as if it were a beacon calling out to be explored. What created this Martian monolith? Was it shaped by the relentless forces of nature, or is there a more mysterious origin? Was it once part of a larger rock layer, slowly eroded away by wind and sand over eons, leaving behind this solitary spire? Or could it be something even more intriguing, a remnant of a time when Mars was a more geologically active place, with volcanic eruptions and shifting tectonic plates? Toko Spire is a reminder that Mars is full of surprises, each one more fascinating than the last. It's a planet of stark beauty, shaped by forces we are only beginning to understand, forces that have left their mark in the form of these incredible rock formations. Each new discovery, each unusual rock formation, is a clue, a piece of the puzzle that helps us unlock the secrets of this alien world. With every step, perseverance brings us closer to understanding the history and mysteries of Mars, one rock at a time. Bright Angel isn't just a catchy name, it's a region within Jezero Crater that holds clues to Mars's fiery past. Here, Perseverance has found rocks that tell a story of volcanic activity, a time when molten rock flowed across the surface. These rocks, composed of minerals like pyroxene, are like time capsules. They preserve within their crystalline structure a record of the conditions under which they formed. It's like listening to the whispers of ancient volcanoes, long extinct. These discoveries are exciting, they suggest that Mars was once a much more dynamic place than it is today. A planet where volcanoes erupted, spewing lava and ash into the atmosphere. A planet that may have been more hospitable to life in its distant past. Rocks are like history books, but instead of words they're written in the language of minerals and textures. And Perseverance, in its explorations, has been reading these Martian books, uncovering tales of a bygone era. Take, for example, the rocks with a peculiar popcorn texture. These rocks are covered in small, bumpy nodules, formed billions of years ago when water interacted with the Martian surface. It's as if the planet itself is trying to tell us, yes, there was once water here. Then there are the rocks that look like Swiss cheese, riddled with holes and cavities. These are the remnants of a time when softer minerals were dissolved away, leaving behind the more resistant parts. Each hole, each groove is a page in the story of Mars's evolution. This is the question that drives us. Did life ever exist on Mars? It's a question that has captivated humanity for centuries and perseverance is getting us closer to an answer. The rover is equipped with a suite of instruments designed to search for signs of ancient life, what scientists call biosignatures. These could be organic molecules, the building blocks of life as we know it, or patterns in the rocks that suggest the presence of fossilized microbes. Perseverance is collecting rock samples, carefully storing them for a future mission that will bring them back to Earth. 
These samples, once in our laboratories, will be subjected to the most sophisticated analysis, giving us the best chance yet of finding evidence of a Martian biosphere. 40 months on Mars. It's a milestone, but it's also just the beginning. Perseverance's mission is far from over. It has many more miles to cover, many more rocks to analyze, and many more secrets to uncover. The journey ahead will be challenging, but Perseverance, true to its name, will persevere. It will continue to explore the ancient riverbeds, climb the towering mountains, and delve into the depths of Mars's history. And we, back on Earth, will be watching, eagerly awaiting each new discovery, each stunning image, each piece of data that brings us closer to understanding our enigmatic neighbor. The adventure, it seems, is just beginning.